Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to log in via SSH to your dream host server. Now, this is a little intimidating, but don't you worry, I'll walk you through every step of the process. Let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial here. Okay, I'm logged into my dream host panel here, and what we wanna do is log into my domain name, tonyflorida.me. So we're gonna go into our domains and click on manage domains. And in here, you will see that I have quite a few domain names on this account, uh, but we'll scroll down to tonyflorida.me and we just wanna click on edit here. And on this next page, you'll see a whole bunch of options and my internet's running a little slow today. Um, so let's, let's hope this uh, moves along for the sake of this video. Here we go. Um, under the users, files and paths section, this says run this domain under the user. Okay, so we have, and just so we're all on the same page, let's go ahead and create a user for this domain name, okay? And we'll, we'll give him a, a cool name, so I'm gonna give my user uh, the name, Tony Teaches Tech, and just keep the default server here. Okay, and the, the checkbox here, what this is basically gonna do is create a new user instead of the, the generated one, or if you didn't already have a user, it'll create a user to begin with. So uh, with that said, let's go down here and change these settings. And on the next page, which will take a couple seconds, this says, um, tonyflorida.me has been edited as you've requested. Your changes should take effect within five to 10 minutes. Within 10 minutes, the new SFTP user, Tony Tish's Tech, on the server will be created with password. We don't know. We have to set that password. And that's what we'll do. I'm gonna just pause the video, wait five or 10 minutes, and then I'll get back with you and we'll resume. Okay, guys, I'm back. Let's continue with the tutorial here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the left-hand side, FTP and SSH users, and manage users okay and all of this is just like a by the way once and done setup thing you'll never have to do this again unless you want to change something but um just just so you know that in this page under manage users go down and find the new user that we just created mine is at the bottom tony teaches tech it is associated with the domain tonyflorida.me click on show info and this is where we can set the password like i said so uh, for that click on this reset password link and we're gonna type in a password. So let me go ahead and do that. And it does not like my password. Let me try that again. Okay, so the password I picked was, hello, my name is Tony. Um, I'm gonna click on reset that password to go ahead and commit and that does not like that password either. Let me try one more time. Um, I, okay, I'm gonna do uh, 1Q2W3E4R. It likes that, maybe, hopefully, reset password. No, wow, this is pretty strict about uh, the complexity of your password. So I'm gonna do something like, um, my name is Tony, with an at symbol and a three. Hopefully it likes that. Okay, so that one worked. Um, it is now resetting my password. This looks like it'll take a minute or two, so instead of wasting your time, let me pause the video again and I'll be right back with you. All right guys, one last thing we have to do before we can finally log in via SSH to our server is click on edit access settings down here and by default, the SSH capability is turned off. We just have to simply turn that on. We'll save the changes. Um, you can keep the default bash type here. Uh, save the changes, this will take you know, 15 seconds to 60 seconds. Again, instead of making you wait, I'll pause the video. We'll be right back with you. All right, guys, it's finally time to log in via SSH to our server. So let's go ahead and do that. If you're on a Mac like I am, you can use the built-in terminal program. This also works for Linux too. But if you're on Windows, you can log in via SSH with PuTTY, which is a program that you just have to download. It has a user interface. So uh, for me, I'm gonna go up here into the spotlight search and type in terminal and open this app up. And what I'm gonna do is type in the following, SSH, the username, which is Tony Teaches Tech at the domain name, tonyflorida.me. 
Um, we don't have to do anything else because we're on port 22, SSH is on, and there is our shell type. So let's go ahead and hit enter. This is asking us for the password. So let me, you can either type the password, copy and paste it. Uh, I'll just type it in just to show you how that looks. So and nothing's gonna show up. I'm gonna type in my n at symbol m three i s t o n y. Hit enter and that will slowly but surely log us into their server. There we go, we got the uh, the dollar sign here, the command prompt, which means you can execute normal Linux Unix commands. So hit enter, it just makes a new line. You can ls to see what is in this directory. Um, in this folder here, tonyflurida.me, that is this folder that contains all of my website data. So I can change directory into tonyflurida.me with CD, and then I can do another LS to list the contents of the directory. And you know, you have your index.html file, your directory for your CSS files, your fonts, your JavaScript files, your image, all that stuff. Um, a couple other commands, you can do PWD to see where you're at, print working directory. So on the system, we're at slash home slash Tony teaches tech slash tonyflorida.me and the website begins to serve at tonyflorida.me so that's why it works when you go to tonyflorida.me in a web browser it's going to load up this index.html file so i mean we don't have to really uh, let me just show you uh we'll look at the contents of the index.html file it's just an html file and if we go back here to our web browser and go to tonyflorida.me you'll see that page load it into the browser um, a little bit of bonus content there. Guys, if you have any questions about logging in via SSH on DreamHost specifically, or in general, onto another server somewhere else, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. Guys, thank you for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe for more content like me, or like, not like me, like this in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.